What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Smoking Jazz Barbecue. If you're brand new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That way you stay updated on all the latest content. And if you're already a subscriber and a follower, I finally got my mic, guys. Whew. Took me the five to seven days, but it's finally here. Man, oh man. They say patience is a virtue, but man, when it comes down to gadgets, <laughs> I want it right then, then, guys. I have no patience for that. But this is what it looks like, guys. Look at that golden color. And ooh, fancy. <laughs> Alright, guys, so without further ado, let's get started on this video. As you can see right here, I got all the ingredients to, to make and stuff our peppers with. And we got some goodness right here, man. Some uh, veggies, some cheese. And I'm using female peppers, guys, because uh, I think that's the best kind to use for the stuffed peppers. But you can use any kind of peppers you like. And uh, yes, there are male and female peppers, which I didn't even know about. But there are females right here that we are using today. So here are the seasons that we're going to be using to flavor our peppers with our stuffing, I should say, for our peppers. So, all right. Once again, all the ingredients and seasons will be listed down below in the description box, guys. So make sure you follow accordingly. And you can do anything you like with these stuffed peppers, guys. You don't have to do it my way, but this is my take on it. And those peppers there you see right there, I cut a little bit off the bottom off just to make it even. And just to make sure that all are even so they can send them nice and straight, I use a little toothpick to use the part that I cut off just to make it even and so they can send up nice and straight just like that in the picture. And what I did next was cut off the top and then I removed the inside of the peppers. So just like so. And here are the ingredients that we're going to add to our stuffed peppers as far as the veggie goes. Oh man, they are looking beautiful guys. Can't wait to take a bite out of these, man. <laughs> Alright, so I'm using a cast iron pan right here and I'm going to heat it up on my stove and on high. Not medium high, but regular high. <laughs> and I'm using one tablespoon of butter and this is unsalted butter guys, unsalted. Next we're going to let the butter melt a little bit and then we're going to add our ground pork sausage into this pan right here. This is going to be our flavoring and fat content for our ground turkey which is very, very lean. And then we're going to add our half a cup of shallots that we had cut up. And this is going to be some good, good stuff. So we're going to stir this around to combine everything together, guys. And we're going to brown this just a little bit. And here comes our ground turkey. Now, this is an 80-20 ground turkey. And this is very lean. So I need some of that fat to keep our moisture inside our ground meat. And this is going to help cook and give us flavor throughout the entire peppers. And there's nothing worse, guys, than biting through a stuffed pepper. And it's not, nothing but dry, dry meat. Oh, man, I can't stand that, man. But guys, these are the seasons that we're using today. Everything we will see right here as far as the ingredients and the uh, amount that we're using will be down below in the description box. Yes, sir. So we're just going to stir and combine all the stuff together right here because we want to make sure all this is incorporated and it's nicely penetrated through and well seasoned. And once we finish cooking our ground meat, we're going to set it aside and let it rust. Next, we're going to use the same cast iron pot that we use, and we're going to add another tablespoon of butter and some olive oil. This is going to be another flavoring agent. Now we're going to do our veggies. We're going to add our remaining of our shallots that we had from our earlier cook, and then we're going to add some peas to this. Also, we're going to add some frozen kernels, and current kernels that is, into our uh, pan right here, and we're going to heat it up to stir it up to make sure we come up to temp. And then we're going to add some Mr. Stash. Some Italian seasoning. Oh man, I love some Italian seasoning, guys. Whew. And then we're gonna add some ground black pepper. We're gonna finally add our all purpose barbecue rub to the seasoning and we're gonna stir to combine everything together. Again, we're just heating this up all the way through, guys. And finally, we're gonna add our cauliflower. This is some good stuff right here, guys. If you never had it, I highly recommend it. This is a great substitute for uh, rice. And this is low carb, guys. This is gonna be some low carb stuffing for our peppers man oh man this is going to be some goodies guys i promise you that but before we finish it up let's add our final layer of, of flavoring so we're going to add two tablespoons of sour cream this is not only going to be flavor but this is going to act as another layer of moisture to our ground meat just to ensure nothing is going to be dry whatsoever throughout the entire cooking process so meanwhile, we're going to prep our pellet smoker, which is our Pit Boss Austin Excel, but you can use any grill or smoker that you like. We're going to open the lid and let this come up the top. If you have a smoke set, guys, open that up as well. If not, don't even worry about it. But today's wood flavor, we're going to be using a little bit of apple, cherry, and maple. Oh man, that's going to be some good flavoring for our peppers, guys. And once you see smoke come out of the chamber, guys, we're going to close the lid and crank our temperatures up all the way to 250 degrees, and that's going to be in Fahrenheit. 
And so here are our peppers, and we're gonna coat them with some canola oil. Canola oil is gonna be a good, good binding agent for our flavoring, because this is gonna act as a binder for us to use for our personal barbecue rub. And we're gonna lightly sprinkle some of that on there just to add another layer of seasoning for the barbecue flavor. Man, oh man. So here's the stuffing preparation. So we're gonna add our veggies first because it's gonna be a five layer stuffing. First layer is gonna be veggies as I stated. We're gonna add some of that in there. Then we're gonna add our protein, which is our ground meat. And then we're gonna stuff it up a little bit more than veggies because I like protein, guys. But you can do it any way you like. Man, oh man, don't doesn't look good right now, guys. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> then thirdly, we're gonna add a little bit more of that veggies. And we're gonna tap it down just to ensure everything falls in place. Then we're gonna add the fourth layer, which is gonna be that Kobe Jack cheese. And I think Kobe Jack cheese goes really, really well with peppers. And then the fifth and final layer is gonna be the mozzarella cheese. Uh, or if you're Italian, they say mozzarella, but hey, I'm not sure. I'm from the north, so we say mozzarella, guys. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna keep it nice and simple. And that's gonna be our final layer. Now we're just gonna lightly coat this with a little bit of barbecue rub just for color, guys. And then we're gonna put the top on and we are ready for the pit. And we're gonna finish those uh, rest of the peppers up and this is what it looks like, guys. Man, oh man. So once we reach 250 degrees, we're gonna put our peppers in. But guess what, guys? Time for some smoke flavor. Alright guys, so we're going to take our peppers and place it in the middle and using that cast iron pan that we had cooked from earlier. Now notice I have put the handle all the way to the right side. And we're going to smoke and cook this for about one and a half hours at 250 degrees while we check on it each and every 30 minutes. So after the first 30 minutes guys, let's take a look at what she looks like. Man, I can't wait to eat these guys. Now. The outer layer is going to get some smoke flavor and we want to ensure that the inner layer is going to get smoke flavor as well. So we took the tops off and we're going to let this cook for the remaining of the time without the top on. So enough 30 minutes has gone by guys and let's take another look at what she looks like. Oh man, the anticipation. Whew. Wow, smoky goodness guys, that's what I call it. You see that nice uh, cheese getting nice and brown and starting to melt? But we're not there yet guys, so we need another 30 minutes guys. So we maintain it at 250 degrees temperature and let's see what she looks like now after the, another hour and a half. Wow. Yeah, the cheese are nice, finally nice, nice and melted and it's getting that brown color that we're looking for, that brown mahogany color. And take a look at that guys. Wow. Man. Now let's take a look at the center and let's take a look at what she looks like inside because this is the whole entire point. You see that moisture, guys? This is not dry and nice and moist. Man, and this is the best part of all, the taste test part. So let's see what she tastes like. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so yet, and ring that bell. That way you stay updated on all the latest content. And make sure you share this video with all your family and friends. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Until we meet again, guys, this is Smoking Jazz Barbecue.